I felt it. I didn't hear it. I was, I was sleeping. It woke me up, boy. Office racket, I ever, ever felt. I mean, I thought it was an earthquake or something, you know, the way it hit. My bed felt like it dropped and on. Talk about a rude awakening. The homeowner jolted out of bed by a car flipping into his house. It happened at Dacusville Road and Shipman Road in Greenville County. And that is where we find 7 News reporter Rochelle Spence tonight. So, Rochelle, do they know yet what caused this crash? No, Tom, they don't. I just got off the phone with Highway Patrol. They said they're still trying to piece this together. And as soon as we have an update, we'll bring that to you. Take a quick look at all of this damage. Right now, it looks like this driver and her vehicle went airborne because there are tire tracks up here in front of the home, and those just abruptly come to a stop. We do know that she flipped over, practically landing on this family's porch. Outside in their front yard, there is debris all over the place. A lot of it came from inside. Here, it looks like we have a table leg right here in this pile of shattered glass, her side mirror laying in the front yard. I talked to the family. They have been out here all day putting this tarp on, doing all that they can to protect what they have left. I want to show you one more thing around the back of the house. This vehicle hit the home so hard that even all the way back here, it was knocked off of its foundation. Certainly not safe for anyone to be inside. Let's go ahead and go to video. I want to show you when the car was still here in the front yard. The homeowners say the driver was pinned inside before being taken by EMS. They also tell us this isn't the first terrible crash here. They say this nearby curve has caused many problems before. Four people have been killed on this property. I've tried to talk to DOT about putting a guardrail up. They're not interested. Now that curve is just right up here. We did reach out to DOT. I called and I asked them if they know that there have been a number of accidents right here. They said they're looking into it. That was several hours ago. We've yet to hear back. For now, live, Rochelle Spence, 7 News.